Now, how does this work, right? So you might be asking that. Well, initially, our counter is zero, yes, and it's going to go to 10. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, it established that. And our total starts at zero. So for the first loop, the counter is zero. And actually, I'm going to use a temporary total here just to show you how this initially works. So our total is zero at this point, And our counter is also zero at this point. But remember, assignment means to the right and then store on the left. So this is zero plus zero. And you add it to your, and that becomes the new value, which is zero. So total and is still zero, counter is still zero. Next up, as we go to the bottom, we increment the counter, so it becomes one. So now it's zero plus one, and then that updates the total. So that's one. And then the next time, this is two. So then what's one plus two, that's three. And then we use that to update the total. So that's three. And then the next time we increment the counter, three plus three is six. And then we use that to update the total. So that's six. And so you could see if we repeat this rep pattern, repeat this pattern all the way, we end up getting uh, we end up getting uh, 55. And I'll prove it to you because when we got to three, well, there were six. So let me just stop at three and show you, or actually did we do zero, one, two, three. Let me just double check that. Oh no, we're stopping at three. 